All right, Aries, welcome to its spiritual trail. So happy you could be here. I hope everybody had their full month of March and had their special time with the Archons. I am asking the person for everybody to be able to clear up their karma, um, anything that they need to do to take things to the highest level, or get, receive good karma back that people have mistreated them or was unfair. Um, to wrap up the few little um, wounds still that are left over and let go of things that doesn't serve them. And we have this clear energy for the rest of this year um, so we can go into 2022 just full of magic and abundance to receive our abundance that we so highly deserve, right? All this work we've done, all these lessons we've learned, we've gained wisdom, we've gained strength, and that is what I'm here to hope for, wish for, have faith that everybody will receive it. With that being said, we are <clears throat> just coming out of a, excuse me, just coming out of a full moon lunar eclipse. And in December, we are going to have a new moon solar eclipse. So there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of things that have been hidden for so long that weren't fair and end up coming to light. It's not as secretive or hidden anymore. A lot of it is being uh, illuminated. So just exactly as they said with this spiritual war that's going on. So that being said, let's go ahead and do our December message for Aries, okay? Um, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's a general reading. Just whoever spirit wants to bring out through the cards to receive a message, we're going to get it, okay? So let's go ahead and say thank you to Spirit, God, Universe for supporting us, for um, being there to bring us to our high level, highest level to for our many blessings and to um, for us to get on the correct path to that higher ascension and our abundance. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get two cards just to see where Aries energy is at. Let's see where our energy is at for December 2021. Again, it's for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So this month I'm really thinking that strong energy here that I know I've said it before, but if you have other placements, like if your rising sign, say, is in Scorpio, you can check that out as well. Or like if your moon sign is in, um, you know, Aquarius or something like that, whatever it is, you might want to check out all of them just to see, because sometimes bits and pieces of all of them can resonate. So let's go ahead and see what's coming up. All right, Spirit, December 2021 for the sign of Aries. What's going on? What's the energy? Within them or around them. Okay. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. Yeah. Work hard for it. It's always been there at your fingertips. It's just circumstances and your belief system not knowing that you had it within you the whole time. This magic that's been right there. Okay. All right. Let's get another one. Love to see that. What else for Aries, December 2021, please? Moonlight enchantment magic. <clears throat> so just like I was talking about earlier, these uh, this full moon uh, lunar eclipse and the new moon solar eclipse is very powerful energy, washing away all the left leftover debris, purifying, bringing in, in illumination. You can be able to see this. You have magic at your fingertips. It's all within you. Anything you want is within you. Okay? So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get some more energies. The energy you're sitting in. The energy you're sitting in, within you, around you. Let's see. One more for Aries in December 2021. Fellow Aries, what is going on? Let's see. Okay, so we have, look at that, the 1111 sign, four wands, bliss, happiness, stability. The moon, again, we have a lot of moon energy. This is very strong for you. This is a very powerful influence in your life to clear up debris that's left over, to illuminate you to your maximum, to bring in that confidence that you had from feeling restricted all this time. You've been feeling restricted for a while, haven't you, Aries? I know I have. 
messages about what your spirituality is, what your mission is, messages about what you're creative at, your creativity, and balancing all that information out, getting balanced and grounded to be able to go towards this infinite abundance with this moonlight enchantment here that's helping helping you guide the way, helping you see through all those shadows and perceive, okay? So let's go ahead and get... Uh, we're going to get some challenges. Challenges. Let's see what the challenges might come up this month for you. December 2021 for Aries. Challenges for Aries. December. Oh, look at that. This is a special card here. <gasps> Yes, letting go of all these past disappointments. Finally seeing that, yeah, you've had disappointments, but they've made you stronger. And now focusing on the things you do have. Very interesting that that came out. All right, what else? Challenges for Aries, December 2021, please. Sometimes it is hard to move forward. Sometimes it is hard to let go of that karma that attached to us, but you're being asked to do that, okay? It's time to let that stuff go. Let whoever dealt you bad karma, let spirit and take care of it itself. It's time to let that wheel turn and leave that stuff behind, okay? Time to leave these disappointments behind. <clears throat> I'm focused on what you can do and what you have, okay? What you're moving towards. What else is challenging for Aries? Just being you is hard, isn't it? <laughs> the fool is you. Sometimes it is hard to be our authentic self because a lot of people don't want to hear it, right? They want to change you. But this is, it's challenging to put yourself out there and be vulnerable and be authentic, but you have to do it and to show it. I don't think Aries has a problem being authentic, it's sometimes expressing it. Because you know, a lot of times with people, you're going to get a lot of opinions, you're going to get a lot of backlash, you're going to get their, you know, wrath with some people right all right what else also i'm getting you know like this might be risky the next move you make but you know it's time to face those fears you're an aries you're a warrior you're a go-getter you're the pioneer right so if it's not putting you in harm or someone else's harm it's time to take that risk and go towards that journey that you are longing for that you are intuitively picking up Towards, yes, towards your truth. Towards your truth, Aries. This is a challenge for you, though. Going towards what you know to be right or what you want. Sometimes it doesn't always fit into society. Or it might be scary, like changing jobs or, you know, losing, you know, moving on from a job because it's stable and secure, right? So, this is things you're facing right now that can be challenging. But you have the strength in you. You are a warrior. So, now let's go ahead and get some advice. Advice on this situation here for Aries. Yeah, I'm really getting something that you really want to do, like your mission, what you're passionate about. You are afraid to let everybody acknowledge it or people to know it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Advice, yes. It's time to take this risk. Look, you're afraid of it, but but this is your advice. This is what Spirit wants you to do. This is an Aries card. Be yourself. Be that risk taker. Forge new paths for yourself. Take that new journey. Start that new journey. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Yes, be this high priestess. Stand and be proud of yourself. Tap into that higher being that you are inside, that soul that you are, that mission that you're supposed to be here for, why you came to this planet. Okay? It's time. One more advice card. Okay. <laughs> Once again, yes, this is a spiritual card. This is 11 11. You are protected, you are supported, you are meant to be here to do what you are longing to do. All right, now we are going to get a spell casting card. You know, it's long enough waiting and long, long enough wet night lessons. It's time to rise up, Aries. animals so what i'm getting from this is you could be uh, wanting to work with animals for your mission or as well as that you are um, a high spirit and animals are attracted to you you could be also having a lot of 
spirit animals giving you messages at this time. But we are going to go ahead and read this. You know, the whole time I've had this deck, I've never come up with animals. Interesting. All right. That's beautiful. Okay. Magical guidance. You often feel that you'd much prefer the company of furry and feathered friends to, to that of the human body. Guilty of that one. <laughs> yes. You understand animals are special for they hold no judgment, only a pure love that radiates on cosmic level. Show your appreciation of their loyalty and personal qualities by taking out with taking time out with an animal companion or playing with a beloved pet. They love you share with animals the love you share with animals is special and continues when they pass over as they remain faithfully by your side in spirit. Losing an animal companion who's wandered far from home is heartbreaking worry. Your prayers for protection will guide them safely back at this time. Special spell incantation. Take a turquoise crystal and some hairs of fe or feathers from your animal's companions on a first quarter moon at night time on a Tuesday. Face north and say, from dogs to horses, fishes to cats, hamsters, gerbils, snakes, and rats. Friendships form, trust is unfurled, protection plays to cure their world. Pet hairs and feathers are their key. Wrap around crystal carefully. Turquoise for communication, pat and stroke for adoration. Two or four legs, fly, swim, crawl. My heart has room to love them all. Tuck a turquoise crystal wrapped in hair feathers in your animal companion's bed and say, Gratefully, I accept the magic of you of protection to assist in all that I do. Let me the courage, build the power in me, assist my transcendence, so mode it be. Magical means train as an animal healer and communicator. Support and com campaign for animal charities. A decreased animal companion is, uh, I'm sorry, decreased, a deceased animal companion is still very much with you. An animal brings healing. So you could have like a spirit animal that's passed over one of your pets that's still around you. Um, but I really feel like there's this draw because they can pick up on your purity and your love of them. So you also are getting animal spirit messages to so really pay attention to them if you're seeing, you know, whatever animal. Um, out there if you keep seeing it a lot there's a message behind that and make sure you look that out okay oh i hope that didn't mess up this reading let me go ahead i gotta plug this in real quick aries there we go i hope that didn't mess up anything okay all right so that was an interesting one all right so we're going to go ahead and get um uh yeah and i'm really getting that there's something some animal spirits you keep seeing a lot so look up that meaning because it has a special message for you. Okay, so now we are going to get another thing because, you know, people are multifaceted. We don't just have one thing in our life. So this is something else that could be separate from this or something complete, completely the same. So let's see what else, what other energy is coming up for you, Aries. December 2021 for Aries, sun and rising, please. Seeing things differently now. Yeah. Before, I think maybe uh, you took it on personally about like things that's happened to you, uh, your self worth, things like that. Maybe thinking that you never would have your abundance or never would have somebody to love you or whatever. You're seeing things differently now. You know you have it, Aries. Okay. All right. Let's see what else. Aries have big hearts. King of Pentacles, yes. Being the leader of your life in your material world, having that stability and security. That's what you're wanting. You want security and happiness and peace. Yeah. Not looking at those things as missed opportunities anymore. You're taking them as the lessons and realize that, that a lot of times you dodged a bullet, Aries. But you didn't, now you know that Spirit was telling you that you deserve better. That's why you're out of that situation. At the time you took it personally, now you know you deserve better. And what were you thinking, kind of, right? Okay, one more energy. Okay. Yeah, you need you deserve somebody that's aligned to you, that has your back, that's a true soulmate. Like somebody, it doesn't have to be a, a romantic situation, but someone that really gets you, supports you, loves you, respects you, loves you for who you are. Your authenticity, not just for what they can get out of you, right? And having that open heartedness going towards your emotional happiness, taking action towards your emotional peace and happiness. Finally, 
All right. Challenges. Challenges with this. Seeing things in a different perspective, going after emotional happiness. What's the challenges? Okay. Challenges is the stability, you know, being that mother figure for yourself, basically, like having that stability and staying stable. Don't wavering too much and slipping back into that. Stay, stay stable. Stay on course. Stay on track, okay? Mother yourself a little bit. All right, any more challenges for Aries for this? <laughs> yeah. Don't start. See this? Reversed. Hangman. You already had that. Do not start going back to the old patterns of thinking. Don't let something trigger you and slip back. Okay? That could be a challenge this month. Especially the holidays. You're going to see different people run into different people. What else? Challenging. Yeah, don't start getting into that frame of thinking you're restricted in your mind. That you're trapped. That you can't move forward. Don't let fear get to best of you either. Don't let it take over your mind, okay? Don't overthink. All right, now we are going to get some advice. Advice for Aries. Yep, look at that. Two of Wands. So this is like maybe struggling with making a choice. So, you might have a tough choice to make, but you can do this, Aries, okay? You can basically trust your intuition. Make sure you're not following old thought patterns. Do what's best for you. Listen to that intuition and the spirit animals that are coming around you, okay? What else? Advice. Stand in your strength. You have a lot of strength within. Stand in it. Don't waver. Stay focused. Don't let other people trigger you. <laughs> Again, keep looking in that different perspective, that higher perspective, okay? See things as they are, but also on a higher range, okay? Don't let your mind play tricks on you or other people play tricks on you. And then we have... Again, like standing in that higher wisdom, staying in your higher self, stay uh, stay connected with your with the spirit, okay. And as well as don't let these old tower moments. This is a scary one. Don't let these old tower moments come back around and make you re re start redoubting and and thinking about those again. All that fell away for a reason. To clear out all that debris and dust. Shake things up so you would get back on track. Move people out of your life that weren't good for you. That you weren't aligned with. That you was pulling your vibration down. That didn't respect you and all that. One more. Yeah. And don't get caught up in the, the conflict and competition anymore. You're not competing with anybody, right? You want what's best for everyone. And you want to be at peace. So you don't want to be in competition with anybody. You don't. None of that. It's time to walk away from that. If somebody's trying to drag you through that, it's time to let them go. Walk away. Walk away. Okay? So let's go ahead and get in the wall. Spellcasting card. To wrap this up. New beginnings. Why isn't that beautiful? Yes. Yep. It's time for a new beginning. Once and for all. And 2022 is going to be a beautiful year. That's when your abundance comes in now, Aries. Finally, right? Finally. But you have to stay in this new energy that passes over. Even your own, your own being, the way you used to be, is done. Okay? The chapter is closing. You're moving to a new chapter. All right, so let's go ahead and read this new beginnings. I love that. And look at this doorway. Going through this doorway to your, to your abundance. Hmm. 
new beginnings. This card heralds a brand new chapter in your life. You've already noticed challenges or even breakdowns in relationships that have always been familiar to you, both at work and other situations. This is because you're at a turning point in your life. Turning point, that's the decision that you're struggling with, right? This is a turning point in your life. Wait a minute, I gotta find where I was. Oh, in your life, and certain factors need to leave before the good stuff can come in. It's been a long, hard slog, but there's a glimmer of hope sparkling in the distance that indicates the destiny you've been wishing for. New ideas, successful projects, and golden opportunities await. You have a second chance. Throw caution to the wind and trust in the great mystery as you walk into your future. Throw caution to the wind and be like that fool that you are, like that fool energy that you are. I'm not saying you're a fool, Aries. I'm talking about the fool card, okay? That risk taker, that warrior. Draw the temptation. Hold some daffodil bulbs and an envelope at mid-morning. Well, I don't know where you're going to find daffodil bulbs, but, you know, this is just the general the gist of it. Hold some daffodil balls in an envelope at mid-morning on a Sunday during a waxing crescent moon phase and say, the door is closing to the past. For future's sake, it couldn't last. The worst is gone. Prepare for change. Letting go may feel strange. Into bulbs, place all hope and pop them in an envelope. Sent to the future, self post haste. Re receive them well. No time to waste. A new door opens to walk through. Seize your chance and see it through. Open the envelope and plant the Plant in the earth the bulbs that are infused with new hope as they might grow. Now say, gratefully I accept the magic of you of protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage, build power to me, assist my transcendence, so mote it be. Magical meanings, start living in the present. New opportunities await. The situation is being healed. The outcome is far greater than you ever imagined. And you have a chance to reinvent yourself. Yes. Okay, so about the daffodils, you might be able to buy the bulbs because you can plant them for spring. I didn't think about that. But anyway, you got this new beginning here, Aries. You know, don't let all that baggage and other people's opinions and past things that have hurt you stop you anymore. You know you've been wanting this your whole life. Okay? So, many blessings. I hope you have a beautiful December. And... Anticipation for this new year and your abundance coming in, this new beginning. So thank you so much, what Aries. And if you haven't already, if you have subscribed, thank you so much. And if you haven't, please hit subscribe or like. I'd really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Peace.